Last one I'm opening. Let's go. We're gonna get a fucking knife. Psych! We're gonna get a fucking Negev! So I just fucking woke up again. I don't know why the fuck I decided to make videos in the morning when I wake up. I honestly feel so out of it. I don't know how I do it, but fuck it, dude. It's literally just me and this other kid against a bunch of bots. It's fucking early, dude. And everyone in my town's power is just going out for no reason at all. I have like six friends messaging me if my power went out. You know what it feels like getting spammed by people asking if your power's out? I'm gonna quote one of my friends here. Do you know how boring life is with no power? I can't even jerk off. Damn, that has to suck, but like, why you gotta spam me though, you know? That's fine, I, I really don't care. My power's not out, so if it does go out randomly, this video is not gonna be going up at all, so. If you're seeing this video, I basically made it, dude, I survived. What's even fucking going on in this lobby, dude? Okay, 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 okay. So lately, I've been introduced to something new. My new love, dude. It's a whole new world, dude. A whole new I'm gonna guess four people cringed at that really hard. So I've been introduced to the world of Kijiji. If you guys don't know what Kijiji is, it's basically just a site where you sell shit. Pretty much it's like a local thing where you like you put up stuff for sale or you look to like buy stuff. And it's all locally, so it's like people in your town and stuff. Every town has its own. Like I'm not sure if it's like worldwide or anything, but I know it's for the most part of Canada, dude. So, like I've always understood what Kijiji was, right? Like I knew that like, I knew I could just sell shit, right? Like I know that I can put up stuff for sale and people could buy them in my town. Like there's a bunch of sites for that, right? Like it's not really that amazing to me, but I never actually used them. I had a couple things laying around. Like, my fucking old Xbox 360. I had my old mic. What else did I sell? I sold the PS1, dude. I'm selling everything now. That's how addicted I am to this site. I sold my mother's fucking TV, dude. Like, she wasn't really using it. Alright. And it kind of ended up being mine. It sounds funnier when I say I sold my mom's TV. Got him. If I find something that's valuable and I don't need, I'll fucking sell it, dude, right away. Like, I don't even negotiate. I'm the worst fucking person when it comes to that site. I put on my Xbox 360 with six games, all the connections and everything, and I put it up for 150 bucks, right? Which is reasonable because, you know, the Xbox, whatever. This is Canadian, so if it seems like overpriced in another fucking currency, like, you just know what's Canadian. Anyways, I put it up for that much, and someone offered me $90 for it. And I was like, yep, right away, I'm taking it, thanks. I didn't even think twice. I, I gave it to him, he picked it up. But I'm coming here is just fucking perfect. Everything I've ever wanted dude. I don't know why I just found this now. Like, usually it's me telling my mom, like, cool stuff on the internet, right? Obviously, times change, dude, and she's like, yo, what is this? Or, like, she asks me, like, yo, what is this? Or, like, is there a cool site to do a specific task or something? And I'm always the one to say, like, yeah, yeah, here it is. You know, this is fucking hip, dude. It's cool. Thank. I got you. Don't even trip. But this is why I feel fucking weird, because my mom is actually one to show me Kijiji, dude. And like I said, I feel weird, because it's not a new site at all, right? Like, it's actually pretty fucking old. But I find it funny how, like, she's the one that showed me it, and she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm a pro. Let me teach you. And, like, she got to teach me for once, you know? The phone's ringing right now, and I don't want to answer it. Don't you fucking hate that when the phone rings, dude? Oh my god, I fucking hate that. Especially when you have, like, friends over or something, and you're just talking, and this phone starts ringing, and they're like, are you gonna answer it? And you have to explain to them that you don't answer the phone. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Maybe I'm weird. I'm just the kid that never answered the phone. Maybe I'm the weird one, dude. Not knowing about these old-ass sites and fucking not answering the phone. It could literally be the most important call in the fucking world, dude. It could be the fucking president. Tell me that I just want a billion dollars, and I won't fucking answer it, dude. Maybe it's just my anxiety kicking in, dude. Maybe he's calling to say I want a new fucking TV. I mean, that doesn't even matter, because if it was true, I just fucking sell it, dude. <laughs> this happens every fucking video. Dude. I talk about some random bullshit that has nothing to do with anything. And then I get so caught up in the game, I just forget to fucking talk. Who says making videos isn't fucking hard, dude? Shit's impossible. Fuck it, dude. I don't even care. You know why? Because I'm fucking Kijiji, man. It's actually like the best place on earth. When I'm stressed out, I just go on fucking Kijiji. Dude. It's the best place. I don't even care. It, it's amazing. But anyways, that's gonna be the video, guys. So if you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, that's fucking awesome. You guys are fucking awesome. I'm gonna go fucking sell my house or some shit. And uh, yeah, stay dank.